Wow, look at what I found. I found a baby northern water snake. And you guys can see he has all... What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode and today I'm going to exploring New Jersey. Now I have never made a video in New Jersey before but I have had the opportunity to come out to my mom's friend's house in New Jersey and right in their house there is a massive and I mean massive creek. Look at the size of this creek. So there could be animals all through this creek and it's really just where we look and where we find animals uh there could be animals literally anywhere so we're just gonna look extensively for creatures in the creek and hopefully we can find some really awesome creatures let's see if we can find some that's a big wolf spider <laughs> Whoa. there's a monster wolf spider there he is look right here look at the size of that guy that's one of the biggest i've ever seen Look at this, guys. This is why I love pockets of water like this so much. Because sometimes in the pockets of water, you can find tadpoles. That's right. That black thing we're looking at right now, that's a tadpole. There's some more over here. I'm going to see if I can try to catch one of these. Might be easier said than done. In case you guys don't know what a tadpole is, for some reason. It's basically a larval amphibian. Now, it takes me probably three minutes to catch one of these things because they're really small and they're very quick and also they're kind of slimy because they're amphibians. But the thing about tadpoles that's interesting is that once they turn into frogs, they're going to have full legs and they're not going to have this tail anymore. And that's actually a really cool thing. We all know about frog metamorphosis, but seeing tadpoles like this is actually pretty cool. Tadpoles are pretty much a staple of the spring here in the eastern United States. We pretty much always regard tadpoles with being spring creatures. And tadpoles are pretty cool looking. Uh, they're pretty docile, really. They're not really going to do much. They're sort of just fattening up and growing up so they can finally metamorphosize into those frogs that we all know and loved. These tadpoles probably will become frogs in the next two months, I'd say, at most two months because there's gonna be more and more tadpoles coming in because it's already June. I know in the actual footage I said that those are frog tadpoles but I actually found out later that those are toad tadpoles and toad tadpoles are small and black like these ones whereas frog tadpoles are a little larger and brown. Now those tadpoles and that wolf spider were pretty cool but the next thing I found was for me at least completely off the charts. Wow, look at what I found. I found a baby northern water snake. Now I have been trying to find a northern water snake for years out here because they do live out here but the adults are very very aggressive and they always try to bite me and I get really scared when they try to bite me and I like run away. Like, I know it's kind of foolish for me to be scared it's just that when they strike, it can be kind of intimidating. But this is a baby northern water snake, and I just found him right by the stream, right over here. And a baby snake is actually called a neonate. That's N-E-O-N-A-T-E. -E. And you guys can see he has a oh. Oh, no. And you guys can see he has a Jeez. Oh, that was close. I almost lost him. Alright. Basically, you guys can see that he has this really beautiful, almost white banding down his back. Now, I think when they get older, that turns into more of a brown, copper, checkered banding. But it's still really cool looking. And honestly, these snakes do kind of look the same when they're babies than when they're adults. I think they do change their colors a little bit, like I said. But I think, from, from my memory, they, they, they look pretty similar, right? So look at the beautiful belly. That is so cool. Look at the look at the pattern on the belly there. That is beautiful. It's like this super cool brown, black, and white striping. And it is super, super cool. 
Now there's a lot of different species of water snakes in the United States, but the only species of water snake that lives in the northern, the northeastern United States is the northern water snake. Now, obviously they're called water snakes because they live by the water. So you guys can see that obviously they live by the water. And this species of snake, you're gonna find them by the water. So if you guys live near like fresh water, there's actually a pretty good chance of you guys finding one of these in the northeastern United States. Now like I said, these snakes are kind of aggressive and they do bite. And the thing about these snakes that's really cool is they actually have an anticoagulant in their saliva. Now because this one is a baby, its teeth are really small. So it's not going to do much damage. It bit me a couple of times, but it didn't break skin. But if they do break skin, they have an anticoagulant in their saliva that actually makes it so the blood does not clot, which is pretty crazy, which means that basically you can be bleeding for hours and hours. Another defense mechanism they have is they musk, Blech. which basically they poop on your hand. You guys can see that sort of brownish black stuff on my hand. It's here too. They basically poop on your hand, and that probably doesn't taste very good to a predator, so they're gonna probably spit them out. But, uh, but yeah, so one of the sad things about water snakes is they have the exact same habitat as water moccasins or cottonmouths, which are a venomous snake that live all across the southeastern United States. They don't live around here, but they do live further south. And a lot of fishermen and people who live by the water will mistake these for cottonmouths, and they actually kill them, and it's really sad because these ones are pretty harmless and they're not venomous so you know it's a little sad that sometimes people misidentify these snakes as being venomous ones but anyway guys this is a really cool find for me especially since I found it right in this sort of smallish stream you know usually I see these snakes more by like big rivers and stuff but this is super cool so there you go guys I personally think that that baby snake was absolutely phenomenal now I'm going to start making videos more like this, more mellow, a little shorter, not too short, but not too long, because in the recent past I've been making like 16 minute videos, which are a little crazy, and I've also made like a couple of 6 minute videos, or even one 3 minute video, so I'm going to make it more around the 10 minute range, so you know, to more even it out, and also I think this video is nice and calm after the last few videos I've had have been a little bit more, you know, crazy and a lot more animals. So, you know, I think this video is pretty good. Not too many creatures, but some animals, in my opinion, like the snake, are pretty awesome. But anyway, guys, hopefully I'm going to be going herping in New York State this, like, weekend or something because I pretty much have, no joke, one more day of school. That's it. I have one more day of school and then a couple of tests and then I'm out, pretty much. So I'm probably going to be making a video probably this week, honestly, and maybe look for some snapping turtles somewhere in upstate New York or maybe some snakes. We'll have to see. But yeah, hopefully I'm going to be looking for some more creatures. And now that summer break has pretty much started for me, um, definitely expect a lot more videos in the next few months. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Peace out. Bye.